Hello, it's Samuel Larson here. And uh, there is a common thing that all the shop owners have to deal at some point. And uh, I think a lot of clients are secretly a little bit afraid of the product page. So this video will be about adding products on Shopify and uploading products in general. So there is this confusion with uh, what is a tag and what is a collection. And it can be a little bit messy if you're just looking at it from the outside. So this is why I made this video. Just to show that there's nothing to fear. Shopify makes this process quite easy. And um, it's easy, but it's also time consuming. But um, you gotta do it. If you want to have an e-commerce store, you need to have your products. Now, of course, on an ideal scenario, you would have all your products ready on an Excel file and uh, you could just upload it and everything would work like that. But uh, it's not always the case. So this is a video for uh, people beginning in Shopify. Now we are here on the Shopify admin panel and uh, we will need to go to products to add a product. And uh, here we have our add to product button. So we'll just click it. And when we click it, we get to this page here. So let's add a product here. And uh, we, our product is a yellow rose. Now, this is a description box. Uh, say it's a beautiful yellow rose and um, that's our description now a product type now we can invent it here because we don't have any product types that are really relevant here so we will add a rose or uh, let's add a flower it's a more of a flower and our vendor is, uh, let's say, flowerist. Uh, okay. And also we need a collection for this. So here's a different collections. And uh, we can add it to multiple ones. So right now I'll just add it on roses. And uh, that's it. But you can add it uh, to as many collections as you want. Now, I would suggest uh, you can use tags to describe your product a little bit. So when people see it, they can filter it through different options. They can also find it in search. So if somebody search something like uh, spring, it will come up in the search. So the next big thing to, in adding a product will be to add images. So this is very easy. You just need your images and uh, you can drag and drop them. So here's our first image. It might take a while to upload. All right, here are our images. So this is our primary image and this is our secondary image. And we can switch from primary to secondary like this. Now the product page, this will be the first image shown and this will be the alternative image. Now let's also put a price on this rose. It's a, a very nice rose. We're going to sell it for 15 bucks. And uh, let's say it's on sale. It used to be 27. So it's really cheap. We're going to charge taxes and um, then there's some inventory stuff that I'm not going to go into too much right now but basically we can put a weight on it let's say it weighs one pound and uh, that um, we have um, we have 30 of them in store so Shopify will track this inventory so when uh, 
you are running out of roses you will have less and less of a quantity shown so that's very simple product here so we're just gonna save it and then we're gonna view how it looks on our product page now to see how this pr product will look on your product page you just click view here and it will take you straight to your product page now we can see that our product name is here we have our quick overview it is a beautiful yellow rose like we wrote then we have at the price and we have the compare at price here so it's on sale now on this we also have the hover effect so we can take a closer look at the rose and also we'll see the second rows here same thing now with the images the more accurate of an image you, clo you load the more accurate the zoom will be so it will zoom more if you put a high quality image here and you can also see our tags here so this is a very typical product page it has all you need now if you try to buy 31 of them it will show that uh, there's only 30 so this is all pretty simple but also very important now on this video I'm not going to go into too much of a detail about product variants or uh, SKUs or any of the stuff this is just the most basic video about how to add a product on your store so i hope that this was helpful and uh, i'll see you on the next video